Hello, my fellow adventurers. This is Malucha, and welcome back to New World. You might be wondering, where the hell are you? Didn't you say you were going on an expedition? Well, I've been looking for <laughs> a day now. Uh, well, at least yesterday, the entire uh, afternoon, evening. And I got seven replies that, sorry, it's a 55 dungeon. We're not going to take a 51 healer, um, which is understandable and not understandable uh it's understandable because my stats are not as high as they can be it's uh not understandable because my stats have nothing to do with how much i can actually heal how much i can actually heal all depends on uh the level of my life staff uh, if you have all the perks and basically the abilities on your gear and your life staff uh so yeah, refreshing move, for instance, uh, reductive cooldown. Uh, what do we? What else do we actually have? Rare items, rare items. <laughs> Don't we have anything more? Yeah, we have nothing more that actually works. Maximum health. Don't think we have. Yeah, we have nothing else that actually s says that we're gonna do more healing. Uh, but yeah, it has nothing to do with the level. Um, Focus works on the damage of the weapon, not the amount of healing you do. Uh, that's all in perks and the life staff itself. So I can understand it, but I can't understand it at the same time. But I can't do anything about it. Uh, so what am I going to do today? Well, we are going to... Well, we're going to quest. <laughs> I want to finish off all the quests. And I was actually looking at the map earlier and was like, where the hell do I want to start with the next side quest? And I was like... Why don't I just finish off the lower zones first? I did first light, I did brightwood. Now, to gain more levels fast, it would be understandable that I would quest in the higher levels. But I have to do the lower levels anyway. So, yeah, today we are going to start with a Monarch's Bluff. And we actually have three available quests here. But we're just going to pick up one and see where it takes us. Urbanus Bixford? <laughs> what an Ur 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 Urbanus is, uh, well, he's, he's a comedian, a Belgian comedian. So, uh, it's kind of, kind of a funny name for me. Uh, let's see if they actually talk. Monarch's Bluffs is a special place. A place where anyone can feel safe and welcome, regardless of where they came from or even what kind of person they are. It's civilized, at least. Yes, you understand. That's why we have to protect this settlement, whatever it takes. We've had a bit of a misunderstanding with the settlement in Windsward, but we need to look after ourselves first. What exactly happened? There's a brooch, an heirloom of sorts. We, we, we had agreed to give it to them as a gesture of goodwill, but the courier carrying the brooch was waylaid by the withered, and the brooch was lost. Well, someone should go and reclaim it. Exactly! Oh, I hoped you'd volunteer. The courier took the north road. So, check the withered at the Mines de Miclo, go and reclaim it, but then bring it back here. It's a finder's keeper situation at that point. Okay, so yeah, uh, like I said, I do want to level up to 55, and the fastest way to do that is to get higher tier quests, but I, I want to finish off the lower tiers as well. So yeah, I said this before as well, I don't want to rush this game, I want to experience this game, and uh, well, taking it a little bit slower from here and there. Uh, just yeah, getting 300 too many XP, that's really low, so like, let's accept and see where we actually need to go. 2.1 kilometers away. Where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? Oh! Wait, oh yeah, okay, we're looking at the wrong quest, we're looking at Enter the Dynasty. So 400 meters away, that's not really far. Let's get a move on. Okay, defeat Black Pick and collect Windsward Heirloom Brooch from the Aberration. So I presume I'm gonna need to beat these guys. Yeah! And yeah, lower zone, really fun. Um, and also gives me the opportunity to gather uh, a lot of chests. Because, well, with the changes they made to the supply caches, giving um, lowered amounts again, uh, I find myself again running out like 24 7. Uh, so, yeah, running a lower zone and being able to like one shot and just 
gather all the gashes really fast, really easily. Definitely fun thing to do from time to time. So let's see where this dude needs to be. And yeah, it also gives me the opportunity to farm out stuff that I want. Can I? No, can't climb this. Yo, so five more kills. We have a chest over here. Nice. Void metal? Oh, look at that. And here we thought, okay, we're in a lower zone. Forsaken hatchet. All right, that's 10 kills. Nice. Let's pick up this chest and then collect the Windsward Heirloom brooch from the Aberration. So it's going to be one enemy. Resume. The Aberration. Where is it? Oh, and even Star Metal in this zone. That's pretty cool. The Aberration gets one shot. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Let's uh, yeah, pick up these as well. I'm gonna go quickly around and gather up all the chests that I can find. And I'll bring you guys back once we talk to Urbanus. <laughs> uh, name cracks me up. Ah, I knew you'd come through. The brooch is now safe and sound in Monarch's Bluffs, where it belongs. Whether Windsward likes it or not. <laughs> That's complete. Ah, oh, really? No follow-up? Ah, uh, I, I know there's like, uh, cause yeah, you can kind of see it if you look character and achievements and then you look at the territory stories and we go down. Uh, Monarchs edict, complete the Monarchs bluff arc, starting with between settlements. But yeah, it seems we're going to need to complete other quests before uh, the next part of this actually comes active. So... Yeah, uh, on to the next quest. Let's see who we need to talk to next. Estabanita Gomez. Hello there, my friend. I am glad to see you're still about town. Survivalist Thornton as well. I still worry that we need more allies, however. I've been working with the Covenant. That's a good start, but Seville should be prioritizing further alliances as well. Without allies, we will certainly need more weapons to fully stock the arsenal. More weapons than even I can forge. Where can we find more weapons? There is one possibility. The lost pirates of Traitor's Hold bear weapons fresh enough to still be useful. If you will collect as many weapons as you can from Traitor's Hold, then we will at least have a fighting chance. Okay, and yeah, we increase 75 gold coins is actually pretty good. And uh, 800 XP and Azoth. So yeah, pretty pretty happy about this quest. <laughs> every every small uh, bit helps. The where you go? 600 meters. Need to go to Traders Hold. All right. And while we are here, we might as well do some more quests for our faction the as well. The light of the covenant shines within you. Ah, did it shine? And yeah, with the latest patch notes, they did reopen uh, Outpost Rush. So it's open again. You can play that again. And then uh, they also increased the amount of tokens you can hold. So it was, it used to be, I think it was 2,500. It is now 5,000 at level 2. Uh, level 3, I think it was 10,000. It is now 15 uh, at level 4. We could hold, uh, I think, 25, and you can now hold, uh, where is it, uh, 37,500. And then level 5, yeah, not really sure, uh, didn't, didn't look at it yet, but they did increase the amount of tokens you can carry. So, uh, yeah, basically, pretty good thing. And uh, the quests here give, like, 900 XP still. That's actually a lot of XP that they give. So I'm going to pick up these three as well. And we're gonna... Well, I'm gonna do them off camera, of course. Uh, but are they along the way? No, they're all in the completely opposite direction. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, first continu uh, continue the, my mission, of course. And then uh, gonna quickly do these three on the background before we head back. We collect 12 broken weapons. 
basically well the first one didn't drop so it's not 100 percent but I presume it's gonna be pretty fast another one that didn't drop so it's not 100 percent but could be still fast enough okay they're all turncoat pirates right but the dudes with a shield oh yeah now he now he actually drops okay and another pirate cove another pirate fortress it will look nice what can we get on we'll loot some chests all right uh time to head back we've looted i think almost everything from my chest over here more books paper Bannon. okay can we jump over yes we can all right let's go back to talk to estabanita gomez ah i'm glad you've returned now let me see these weapons hmm they are usable but the steel is less durable than i'd hoped Either way, they will have to suffice for now. Alright, let's complete the quest. Yeah, I kind of um, considered uh, the possibility that you kind of need to do all three, because there's like three quests here. Friends of Fashion, Taste of Honey. So there's two more. I thought there was only three quests here. Okay. Hey, how are things? I hear Bixford and Seville still got their heads up their butts. We gotta do something. What do you propose? Hate to say it, but Gomes is right. We need to be finding allies. I got an idea. It's a little out there, but it might at least earn us a friend. Should give it a shot. So, survivalist Lee is influential over an Everfall. He's got an obsession with fashion. Er, clothes, you know. <laughs> I know, right? But bring him some ancient textiles as a gift, and we'll have at least one ally out there. I can do that. And where do I need to go for that? 600 meters away. Find pieces of tattered silk from the skeletons and at Antaras and Akernar. So I'm gonna need to go to two locations. Tanaris and Atanar. Tanaras, Antaras. So yeah, probably these two locations. Can I as well? No, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna save my Azoth. Probably gonna need it later on. All right, let's uh, go see where we can find these pieces of cloth. Friends in a fashion. So collect tattered silk from celestial ancient guardians. Are you an ancient guardian, sir? Yes, you are. I presume anything we kill here is gonna drop it. Are these little guys here gonna drop it? Yes, they do. So, yeah, I'm gonna kill eight more. No, not pick up the bush. Pick up the loot. And then we'll see if we actually need to go. Because it says from two different locations. So, I'm not really sure if it's either of the locations you need to go to. Or if it's maybe just one location. Alright, so... One location is sufficient. Don't need to go to two of them. So yeah, we are heading back. Oh. We need to go to Everfall. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I do think there's kind of like a bug. Uh, usually when you traverse in... The areas of your own faction you get a reduction in the amount that it costs but 148 uh, for going towards my own faction and the distance isn't even that big and 264 so or they increase the amount you need to fast travel which is kind of ridiculous and stupid um, the cost was already high enough uh, but now actually 148 to actually traverse 199 to first to this one but 148 to this one what if I, we want to go here 400 and you can only hold a thousand so making one fast travel across the continent would consume half of your azoth it's it i, 
I think that's a bug. It has to be. Uh, there was nothing in the patch notes saying that they changed it or something like that. So it has to be a bug. Uh, I really hope they didn't change it. Like, this is, this is, yeah, this is uh, definitely, especially for new players, um, this cost is way too high. Or they should increase, like, the amount you get from quests from 20 to, like, 50, 100 for the more difficult quests. And then it would kind of make sense, but... Yeah, this, this cost price is uh, just too high. Mr. Lee? What's this? Oh, such fine silk and quite a familiar quality. Timeless both in durability and in style. Tell me, where did you find these and what do you want in exchange? Name your price. Oh, uh, 4,000 gold and 1,000 Azov. <laughs> uh, it's a gift from Monarch's Bluff. A gift? For me? How generous. Someone knows my taste too. Comes with the territory. Well, do you tell Monarch's Bluffs that everyone in the settlement has earned a friend in Survivalist Lee. I mean it. Alright, let's complete the quest. Is he gonna give a follow-up? Now here comes a proud warrior if I've ever seen one. If you're looking to knock some skulls around, well, you've come to the right place. Well, I, I do love knocking on some skulls, but um, I'm, 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 I'm going to come back to you later. Because right now we are on a quest to complete everything in Monarch's Bluff and not in Everfall. So yeah, heading back to Monarch's Bluff. Oh, I wish it wasn't so pricey to teleport. 179, ouch. Oh, no, no. Um, yeah, 164. It's not even cheaper. I remember it being like 50, something like that. So, uh, triple the price. Uh, it seems for our last quest, we're gonna visit the... Well, the barkeep here. Gert... Gertie? <laughs> Stop standing on the counter. Gertie Lothler? <laughs> hey, are you the one I've been hearing about? <laughs> yes, you must be. You match the description. People talk around here, you know. What do people say exactly? They say you've been quite a help, and I was like, well, why haven't they helped me? But then I realized, <laughs> silly Geerty, it's because you haven't asked. Geerty, okay. Is there something you need help with? Yes, honey. Honey so delicious, it's called Devil's Honey. It also comes from Devil's Gorge. Collect my honeycombs and I'll give you a taste. But whatever you do, don't touch anything in Devil's Gorge except those apiaries. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, pretty, pretty specific. And where do we need to go? 400 meters away. Let's check the map. Oh, it's really close by. Okay, so first I was thinking like, okay, we need to go into the mines, but apparently it's on top of the mines here. So I can't touch anything else except the apiaries, right? Is there anything else to touch? Alright, collect devil's honey three times. One. How convenient. There is exactly three stalls. Okay, done. And yeah, you do wanna... Oh, already, already took this one. Have I been here before? really can't remember so yeah they actually do those notes actually do give a rather good amount of xp the last one i picked up gave like 990 if you can pick up five notes that's the same as doing a low level quest so <laughs> you definitely don't want to skip over those notes as well easy xp uh -huh. there's my honey I mean, my honeycombs. <laughs> I wasn't calling you my honey. That would be <laughs> absurd. But yes, this is fantastic. I'm going to whip us up some honey cakes right away. Oh, so she, I thought she was making a brew like uh, <laughs> in New Light, but she's making cake. All right, I, I can live with that. So let's complete this quest. Nice. You did me a good turn with my devil's honey. I'm thinking... I might have another favor to ask if you've got the time well sadly enough I don't have the time for today so yeah like always I'm gonna sit my ass down 
So we started with a uh, nice uh, four chains here in Monarch's Bluff. Let's quickly take a look at the map. So we only have one quest available. Is this true? Then where are the other quests? Because there is three quest chains here. Uh, so yeah, I do wonder when the next quest will unlock. But we still have one more quest here. That's where we're gonna look at in the next episode. And uh, let's grab a lot of piece of storage. There we go. If you want to see more of my quest progression or my let's play here in New World, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.